Great pleasure to be here at Port Arthur Penitentiary where the State Government has committed $3 million to help with the conservation program. Uh, this is an iconic site and an iconic photo that's taken by so many people right around the world. It's just fantastic to be here to be able to announce that $3 million will assist uh, with the conservation works to make sure that this view and the penitentiary can be seen by visitors for many, many years to come. The, the penitentiary is arguably the most significant convict ruin in Australia and as such we've got to do all we possibly can to conserve it and pre preserve it. We now have engineering advice that says that we need to do something so and do something urgently so it's imperative that the board and the organisation get that done and we need to spend a lot of money in stabilising the structure inside the building so it doesn't fall down. And so my understanding of what will happen in here is that there'll be um, columns opposing each other and then steel work attached to those uh, columns mm -hmm. and that'll allow all of the, the current infrastructure that's here to support uh, the penitentiary, that'll be allow that to be taken away. Yep. Uh, and this was a, a fix that was put together in the 80s, yes, is yep. that right? And I, I think it's, it's done its job, it has, but it now it's time that we have uh, some, some new engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that the penitentiary can be seen by visitors for years and years to come. Yeah. This is extremely expensive engineering work. So the estimate of, for that is six million. Port Arthur is going to raise another two million so that when the, when the stabilisation is done, there, there then will be um, the opportunity to do a fabulous interpretation program here as well.